Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the English video. Today, we'll be discussing on a new chapter that is Chapter Four, the Feast. The topics that we are going to learn today are verse extract, comic writing, adverbs, and adverbial phrases. Verse extract. A verse extract is a particular part that is chosen from a verse so that it can be used in a discussion or in an article or in a different books. Here, verse means a stanza or a paragraph or a group of four or five lines in a poem. And extract means to take out or to draw out or it can even be said a particular part that is being chosen. So, this is a meaning of a verse extract. Comic Comics is a medium used to express narratives or other ideas through images, usually combined with text. It typically takes the form of a sequences of panels of images. Cartooning and other forms of illustration are the most common image making means in comics. It is also a form which uses photographic images. When you write a comic, any item can bring to life. It can be a food item or animals or tools or it can be anything but we know that when you write this into a comic, any item, if it be any of this, can be turned into a character, that is, it can be brought to life. Now, in order to start writing a comic, let's learn the 8-step guide for creating and publishing your own comic book. Start with an idea. Here, when you are writing a comic, you need an idea before you start writing your comic. Here. You don't have to worry if your ideas is not fully realized yet, but you can just go with it because you never know where it will take you. But you need to have an idea first before you start writing. The second step is write a script. Once you are ready with your idea, you can write it down on a paper and flesh it out. One of the most common mistake is drawing your comic book before writing out your story. So don't make this mistake, but before you draw, take time to write a script, a simple text will do. Once your script is done, you can start drawing. The third step is to plan the layout. So it's almost time to start drawing. When working on the layout, your goal is to keep the reader interested. One way to do this is to end each page, maybe not all but some, with cliffhanger. Draw the reader in, let them know something interesting is about to happen, but don't reveal what that is until they turn the page. Here, don't forget to leave room for the dialogue. The fourth step is which every one of you love that is draw the comic. So here, whether you're working traditionally or digitally, drawing the comic can feel like a difficult task. But at this stage of the process, your work does not need to be perfect. Focus on getting your comic drawn. You can work on perfecting it later during the inking stage. Now, the fifth step is time for inking and coloring. Now that you have your comic drawn and penciled, it's time for inking and coloring, two tasks that don't necessarily need to be done by the same person. Inking, it is this stage where you clean up your drawing and add depth to your illustration by marking it. Coloring. Choosing the colors can make or break a scene. In addition to proper color selection, not keeping your colors consistent can break things too. Imagine how confusing it would have been to see Superman's cap colored red in one page and green in another. 
while this silly example is just that silly the point is keep things consistent or your readers may be confused the sixth step is lettering an often overlooked task when creating a comic is lettering you may have a great story or you may even have a fantastic illustrations but if your lettering is messed up people won't read your story so remember your letters should be neat and clear the seventh step is selling and marketing the selling and marketing might not be important for you as of now for your writing a comic but this will help you in your future so selling and marketing your comic is not easy the best thing you can do is tell people or tell your friends or you can even tell your family or tell the world so luckily here social media sites like facebook and twitter make this relatively easy your best best is to create a daily post telling everyone about your new venture let them know what it is and how they can get it just don't be a pest don't float their fit with your sales speech keep it to once maybe twice a day now the last step is wrap up Creating a comic book or graphic novel takes a lot of work. If you have the skills and the time to tackle this task on your own, great. If not, don't be afraid to collaborate with other artists and don't be afraid to ask questions. So these are the 8-step guide to creating and publishing your own comic books. Now, let's learn what is an adverb. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how much, and with what frequency. An adverb can tell how, where, when, how much, and how often. Let's see some of the examples of adverb. The first example is where. So, where is, she add the muffin here. So, here answers the question, where. So, here is an adverb. Next is, when. When did she add? So, the answer is, she add the muffin today. So, today answers the question of when. So, again here, today is an adverb. The third one is, how. How did she add? So the answer is she quickly add the muffin. So here again quickly answers a question how. So again quickly is an adverb. Next to what extent or how much did she add? So the answer is she completely add the muffin. So here again completely is an adverb as it answers the question of how much. So these are some of the example of an adverb. Adverbial phrases. An adverbial phrase, also referred to as an adverb phrase, is a multi-word phrase that takes the role of a verb in a sentence. Just like adverb, adverbial phrases modifies other words by describing when, where, why, or how something was done, they can also explain the condition of an object or action or to the extent to which action or object was effected. Let's look some of the examples of adverbial phrases. Remember, it is a phrase, not a word. The first example is... Baseball has become very popular in our town. So here, since in our town answers the question where, so in our town is an adverbial phrase. Next, the flowers will bloom in spring. So here again, since in spring answers the question when, so in spring is an adverbial phrase. The third one, Helen did not go to school on account of the bad weather. So since the phrase on account of the bad weather answers the question why, so this phrase is an adverbial phrase. The third one, 
My brother spoke in a condescending manner. So here, since in a condescending manner answers the question how, so this phrase is an adverbial phrase. The last one, for how many years she has been waiting for this opportunity? So, since for many years answers the question to what extent? So, for many years is an adverbial phrase so these are some of the example of adverbial phrases this is all for today's video i hope you have understood the three main topics that we have learned today that is verse extract comic writing adverb and adverbial phrases thank you and stay safe